Hello everyone, Amud here from the Target Common YouTube channel and in this video we are going to learn about Wiremock tool. But before we understand about Wiremock tool, let's understand the scenario in which we need to use this kind of tool. It will be good if you understand the basics of microservices application. If you don't know about microservices, then you can refer this video on the screen. In a microservices application, we have multiple components and these components can talk to each other. This diagram represents an e-commerce application with microservices architecture where we have multiple components like fraud project, product, seller, cart, profile or notifications and all these components have their own code base and one component can talk to any of the other components using the APIs. Now let's see one of the component user services. So this component requires a DB so that they can store the data related to user and they have some APIs which can retrieve some data. If you want to get the data of any specific user then we need to pass the ID something like 123 and it will return the response what is the name and gender. This is just for the demo purpose. So previous diagram shows the flow within the component. It is possible that one component can call another component. For example, before proceeding for the checkout, checkout team needs to confirm whether the user is valid or not. So they will have some wrapper or they may call this API directly to get the user details. So we can say that this checkout component is dependent on this user component. If there's some problem with the user component, checkout component is not going to get the user details. Now let's go back to the first image which is modified now. Earlier we had the original DB. Now we have replaced it with the mock server. But why do we need this one? Suppose you are developing some feature in the user service component and you need to test that feature. To test that feature you may need to retrieve some user details. So for your testing purpose also you are making the call to database and you are retrieving the details. So in lower environment it might be possible that there might be some latency because it is going to connect to the DB, look for the record, then it is going to send back the response. So it is actually delaying your development work. Here you just need the response so that you can write some further logic. You are not bothering about what data has been stored in DB. You just need some user details. Or if you are using some third party database like Mongo, then maybe for every call, you need to pay some cents. And during the development and testing, you don't want to pay extra. So instead of doing the actual DB call, we can use some mock server, which will give us some recorded or canned response. So you hit the API for the U123, but it is going to give you the response, which is already stored or formatted during runtime and return. It is not going to hit the actual DB. So now you must have basic idea what we can do with the mock server. Now let's go back to the second image, which is also modified. Earlier I said that checkout component is dependent on user component. If there is any problem with the user component, then checkout component is also going to hamper. So suppose this user component is under development or it does not exist or unstable and it might be possible that checkout service may call some other services which are paid one or you are doing some development in checkout component and you just need some response. So in all these cases, instead of hitting the user component to get the details, we can set up some mock server and we can configure the request and response whatever we need. In this case, you don't need to bother if the dependent components are not developed or stable. So now we have basic understanding of the use cases where we need to mock the API responses. So we have multiple tools to do that, but Wiremock is the famous one. This is used by developers extensively and we automation testers can also use this tool to have a better control on our automation suite. Here I have listed the scenarios in which we can use the tool like Wiremock and these scenarios I have already covered just now. Just to recap, mock servers can be used for development and testing of services or components in microservices architecture. It can be also used to simulate third party APIs for components. These third party APIs may be paid one as well. We can also simulate the specific scenarios like errors, latency or faults. For example, if any service is down, then you are going to get some error response. So instead of making the server down, we can simulate it and give the response and it can be very useful for the automation testing scenarios as well. So now let's see more about the Wiremock tool. So Wiremock tool is an open source tool for API mock testing. It can help you to mock the API response on which you are dependent on. With the help of Wiremock, we can develop with the confidence without worrying about the under development 
और अनस्टेबल और ये टू बी डेवलप और थर्ड पार्टी एपीआई इट प्रोवाइड्स यू एडवांस रिक्वेस्ट मैचिंग बिकॉज यू मे रिक्वायर रिस्पॉन्स बेस्ड ऑन वॉट एवर रिक्वेस्ट यू आर पासिंग सो वी कैन राइट द लॉजिक इन सच ए वे डेट इट विल गिव यू द रिस्पॉन्स वॉट एवर इज नीडेड सिमिलरली वी कैन यूज द रिस्पॉन्स टेम्पलेट टू क्रिएट द रिस्पॉन्स एट रन टाइम एंड सेंड इट बैक एंड अनदर मेजर फीचर इज लाइक record and playback that means whatever request it is receiving it is going to record that and create the rules so that it will be returned when required so this is the official website of wiremark and if you are a fan of reading the official documentation then you can click on this link and you can go through it but anyway i am going to cover a lot of concepts about wiremark in this playlist so you can watch those videos as well so that's all in this video if you have any doubt please comment on this video If you really like my videos please like comment subscribe and share with others thank you everyone